I'm Matt Bichard with REIT.com here in San Francisco for REIT World 2013, the REIT's annual convention for all things REIT. Joining me is Steve Buller, Portfolio Manager with Fidelity Investments. Steve, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, let's start by talking about the international markets. Are, are there any that have surprised you this year for the better? I would say Japan. You have Abe Economics at work. Three things which he's trying to accomplish. First, generate some inflation. Second, a quantitative easing program. And third, depreciating the yen. Now, initially, we did not see any of those three arrows, as they call them in Japan, um, help the real estate sector. But more recently, we have. For example, the uh, vacancy rate in the Tokyo office market has started to come down, and we've actually seen a bottoming of office uh, rental rates. And I think very soon, you actually see rental rates go up. So initially, we saw the share prices in Japan do very well, I think, in anticipation of that, and now that's playing out. And looking ahead, do you see any international markets or sectors that appear to be underserved and could be targets for growth by listed real estate investment? I would say the healthcare arena. I mean, we, over the past decade here, we've seen the health care REITs you know, grow tremendously. I think you're starting to see initial signs, whether it's Japan, the UK, or Australia. Uh, the start, the talk, startups coming, and pretty soon you actually see some listed uh, REIT sectors in those markets. So looking ahead a year from now, what's going to be the big story we're talking about if we're having this interview in 2014? You know, all the talk right now is rising long-term interest rates and how that has impacted many of the REIT markets around the world. I think a year from now, we'll look back and interest rates will have risen, but you actually will start to see the actual REIT markets themselves do better. As we've seen over time, interest rates can work both ways. They can help, they can hurt. Usually when interest rates are rising, portends good economic growth and good real estate fundamentals. Where on the flip side, which we've already seen, when, real, when interest rates rise is the cost of capital going up and how that has impacted the shares. I think that tug of war, you'll start to see the other side of the tug as we sit here a year from now. Steve, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. For more on this and other REIT news and analysis, be sure to visit REIT.com.